Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Takashi69 being sued by his bodyguards. Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Let's get right into it. The Brooklyn rapper Takashi69 stiffed his bodyguards out of $75,000 shortly before his federal bust in 2018, a new lawsuit alleges. Metropolitan Patrol, a California-based firm, inked a deal with Takashi, whose given name is Daniel Hernandez, on November 1st, 2018, according to a lawsuit filed Monday in Los Angeles Superior Court. Hernandez allegedly signed the contract three months after he was kidnapped, beaten, and robbed of nearly $800,000 worth in jewelry and cash in Brooklyn. While Hernandez was in Los Angeles, the firm provided armed officers and armored vehicles for nine days. Each bodyguard earned $85 an hour, not including overtime, the suit says. Fame, he joined a crew known as the Nine Trey Bloods, and he used them to get more fame and publicity in the United States. Oh, there we go. An invoice shows that the armored vehicles, which cost $300 to $550 a day, included a black fully loaded Yukon with ballistic panels, and a black police Ford Explorer with ballistic panels fully loaded with lights and sirens. After the company made several requests for payment, Takashi's agent allegedly said the Gummo Rapper had no intention of paying the tab. With late fees and legal expenses, Metropolitan Patrol wants Takashi to cough up $88,181.50, the lawsuit says. The bill bloomed after Hernandez allegedly requested an overnight detail for two of the contracted days after a drive-by shooting on the set of one of his music videos. On November the 8th, the Gotti performer was at an $80 million Beverly Hills property to film a music video that featured Nicki Minaj and Kanye West when a shooter opened fire, sending a bullet through a bedroom window. Later that month, Hernandez and five other members and associates of the Nine Trey Gangsters were hit with a federal indictment including charges of racketeering, weapon possession and conspiracy to commit murder. The rapper turned snitch testified against his co-defendants and served less than two years in prison. Hernandez's lawyer said his client shouldn't be on the hook for the security detail. A former management company that provided bookings for Danny hired Metropolitan, said attorney Lance Lorazzo. That's the person responsible for whatever fees are owed. Hernandez had a force field of protection around him in late 2018, shortly before he was locked up, but forgot to pay the people guarding him, so claims a new security company in a lawsuit. It won't be released this Friday, May 29th. It's going to be pushed back to um, June 5th. Poppy, you can't eat this. 6 9 is being sued by Metropolitan Police, which claims it provided protection for the guy, including 11 days in November 2018. Part of that time, Hernandez was in LA rolling deep with bodyguards, as seen in the video. According to the docs obtained by TMZ, Metropolitan Patrol says Takashi signed a contract with them in which they agreed to provide round-the-clock armed security. The lawsuit even includes a detailed schedule of shifts they claim to have worked. It looks like the rate was $85 an hour during the day, while the late night shifts cost $127.50 an hour. MP also claims it provided him with armored vehicles, namely a fully loaded Yukon with ballistic panels and two police style Ford Explorers complete with lights, sirens and everything you'd expect. All in all, Metropolitan says Takashi's tab came to a little over $75,000 for the job, but when it came time to pay up, they claimed he simply refused to fork over the money, and now they want a judge to step in. Metropolitan wants what they say they're owed on the contract plus late fees and legal fees that have added up. In total, they're asking for just north of $88,000. Now 6 ix lawyer Lance Lorazzo tells TMZ Takashi's booking agent at the time, MTA Bookings, is responsible for covering the tab, and that Metropolitan's beef is really with them. He says Takashi has nothing to do with it and owes nothing, calling the suit meritless. In the viral video, one can see a man attacking another man who is allegedly one of the bodyguards of Takashi69. One can also see two other people jumping in as a woman screamed, don't shoot. However, it's unclear whether a gun was actually drawn, but whoever shot the video thought it was members of the security team of the rapper who was being targeted. Takashi69 has always been a controversial figure due to his instigator attitude. The Punani rapper was reportedly known long before going to jail for trolling on social media and just generally pissing lots of people off online and in person. His decision to reportedly cooperate with authorities and testify against his members of the Nine Trey Gangster Blood to obtain a reduced sentence has earned him no fans, with those in the hip-hop community disowning him and calling him a snitch. At the beginning of the month, the rapper's house arrest reportedly ended, meaning he is now free to come and go as he pleases. And then he and his entourage went to Harlem to dine at Ricardo's. But not all people seemed pleased to be in his company, as somebody shouted, Wrong restaurant, blood, as they left. And that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another amazing video from us. Until next time.